proposal to build a commuter rail line in central Kentucky is gaining some steam on central on uh, social media. Uh, if it would go through, it would use tracks that already exist and run between Georgetown and Danville. LDX 18's Ricky Sayer spoke with the man behind the idea. Map making has been a lifelong obsession for Spencer Stelzer Wise. Interstate here seems to be a bit of an interchange. He wasn't much older than five when he drew this. It's just something I did. I never really thought about why. But in all his years of drawing maps, first on paper and now digitally, he's never had one get as much attention as this one has. My idea is in the long scale, eventually getting a full uh, light rail and commuter rail system into Lexington. Since posting it, a thousand people have joined a Facebook group he created. It's focused on making his idea or someone else's Central Kentucky commuter rail plan a reality. Pretty crazy. I did not expect it, uh, the page to go so viral over the weekend. Commuter rail would be great in Lexington, absolutely. David Stefanski is the owner of Berkshire Trains and Vintage Toys in Lexington. It would certainly help with people getting around town. The shop is alongside one of the rail lines in Lexington Stelzer Wise envisions using. He imagines stops at Fayette Mall and a downtown stop at UK. Is this a feasible project? I definitely think so and a lot more feasible than most people realize. He says the tracks are already there and sees RJ Corman as a potential partner. He thinks they could start small, just going from downtown to Nicholasville, but Stefanski says there would be major obstacles. This is a major infrastructure for Norfolk Southern's uh, uh, north to south network. He says they would have to give the okay. Another issue? There's no, no downtown station. Meaning people would have to take a bus, adding time to their trip. It's a lot more expensive than it may seem, exactly. Selzer Y says he presented his plan to an audience that included council members, and they appeared on board. If commuter rail does make it to Lexington, it could potentially mean one of his maps becomes reality. Oh, man, that's been my dream forever. I hope it's not one of these, but <laughs> to see one of the maps I've made recently become a real thing, just be my life's ambition. <laughs> The sort of thing that would motivate him to make even more. In Lexington, Ricky Sayer, LEX 18 News. We should say this is one of multiple commuter rail ideas that have popped up recently and some uh, call for going all across the Commonwealth. However, for now, it is just an idea. There are no official plans to make it a reality.